I am super excited. We have new receivers from Spectrum, although it's really not that exciting. Anyways, these are the new guys from Spectrum. If you look at them, they look very different. They have no antennas. Where's the antenna? And they have okay. no bind button. Um, this have the AR6200 and the AR4410. Uh, 410. So and obviously it's not 6200, 620 by the 620. way. 620. All right, so they are four channel and they are six channel. First thing I noticed, they look like an old receiver from like 19 whatever. They look cheap. Yeah, they don't have any antennas. They, They're weird shape. Looks shaped. like a toy. But that's not saying it doesn't work. It just looks, has a just a unique um, look and feel and smell to the ones that I'm used to with the little Did antennas. You really just smell the receiver. I smell the receiver. the receiver. All right, anyway. so we're gonna hook this up and show you how it binds to an airplane. We're not gonna do a flight test because we're inside, but we're hook up to a quick little four channel airplane and uh, we'll see how it works. But <laughs> and then we're also gonna do our durability test. They're very slick. If you're new to the channel, Grayson Hobby is a shop located outside of Atlanta, Georgia, where we sell and ship out quads and airplanes and drone parts and everything of sorts. And everything you see on our website is located here in our good old USA warehouse right outside of Atlanta. All right, so just to show you what the old AR400 looks like, we have a long antenna right here, and then the new guy is here. So this one's a little longer. We're gonna weigh him up. Um, can all that fit in the scale? I can try, hold on, let me do this. So that's 5.6 grams compared to 7.1. Seven. So Your plane will never fly with an yeah. extra two grams. I'm sorry, this is, <laughs> this right. is unacceptable. So it's heavier. Yeah. Strike one. All right, no, well, seriously. the biggest thing I can tell you right now, uh, I don't like the vertical pins. I've always liked the end pin design, so that's a big win for me. Um, I like the end pin, it's a nice and sleek design, because that reminds me of the old uh, 61. Wow, that's an old receiver right there. 6100 yep. E. Uh, I always like that style receiver, and this kind of matches that profile. Okay. So first thing I noticed, there's not a bind slot. There's a data, and there is a uh, battery, and there's one, two, three, and four. Now the old ones were labeled aileron, elevator rod, rudder, all that good stuff. Now, why do you think they will? They went to one, three, two, three, four. Because depending on the application you're mapping, there's all kinds of stuff out now. But you can change the channel mapping in right. your radio. So four channel the ailerons from the I mean the AR four hundred. Even you can see here has ailerons, rudder, blah 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 blah. And now they don't. It's one, two, three, four. Um, so that may be confusing, but. Yeah, and one thing to keep up with, um, the polarity of the pins, the labeling is not the greatest. It's very small molded on the front there. So you have the signal positive in the center and ground to the bottom. So the label side up right here where the bind side, that's the signal side. The ground is across the bottom here. Okay, so you mentioned the bind side. What does that mean? This is a bind button. So okay. unlike okay. the older receivers where you had to use the bind plug, now they've gone to the button. Okay, up. so if you... And that's what it clicks. That's the bind. Kind of like an old uh, Free Sky or a new Free Sky radio. But, I mean, yeah, but this is easier to get to the button. Oh, though. way easier to get the button. All right, so we're gonna hook it up as normal. So, on a typical airplane, what is channel one? Well, channel one is throttle on a spectrum. Okay. I don't know why. I don't. That's my biggest beef. Four spectrum. One is throttle. That's my biggest beef. Throttle. Just put what they are. It's an airplane receiver. Put the airplane controls on the dang thing. Don't make me read a manual reading it's just so hard to do so you have in this case we're using the battery port for the power for the vtx this little one-off thing one is our throttle channel two is our elevator or ele i'm sorry aileron three see? is our elevator see? confusing confusing four is our rudder well you're moving stuff around you know i don't pay attention normally you put the bind plug in and you turn it on and the little light flashes so you know you're in bind mode now so, in order to get this into bind mode, without reading any manuals, I'm just going to assume what we're going to need to do is push and hold the button while plugging in the battery. Oh, wait, that... Now we're in bind mode. So you almost need two hands for that versus putting the plug in. Yeah, but this is nice because you don't you have, don't to, have to, to worry about You don't have to go find a bind plug. Yeah, all so... Right, so then all you got to do... And it is bound. Now that is nice. It has telemetry. Unlike the older receivers. So, Auto config, let's see what it's got. Uh, so the only thing is, 
giving me out of the box is the receiver voltage. So if you have like a nitro plane or something like that, it's going to tell you what your flight pack voltage is, which is nice. Or if you're running a separate flight pack, we will it's signal strength, phase and holds, and uh, receiver voltage, whatever the power going into it is, okay. which this is a 5.1 volts in this case. So that's kind of nice to have. Right. What happened there, Will? So um, I, instead of showing you guys what a button does, I want to take it apart. So let's see what this thing looks like inside. So inside the casing, which don't do this guys, you're probably voiding warranty, but we don't care at this point. Um, you'll see there's the actual button button, the little LED there. And on the back side, that's just a whole bunch of circuitry. There's really nothing there. Um, interestingly enough, it looks like right it looks like old... Well, this looks like it was some sort of connector for an antenna. It actually says A1, but if you guys look there, it's kind of like a cell phone antenna. You see the little wire in the, there? So that's actually like some kind of amplified PC board antenna. So that's how this guy works. It actually does have an antenna. It's just oh. internal, and it's a different style of antenna. Cool. That's good to know. So, so um, that's everything right there. So that's inside the AR410. All right, um, fail safe. All what, right, so. What is fail safe real quick? In case everybody fail knows. safe is pre-programmed settings to where you can either have it hold its last known position or um, pre-programmed, like if you want it to be up elevator, down elevator, right aileron, right rudder, whatever you want, you can preset that. So if you lose power to this, you drop it, you fall in the river, battery dies, the plane won't. If you lose radio communication anyway, in my opinion, I would want everything to go neutral. neutral. Throttle, so, throttle off. Throttle down, neutral. That, that way, way, if no. you're at full throttle and you're going up, this thing's going to go forever. Yeah. So, All right, so in order to do traditional binding is pushing hold. We just did that. If you want it to save the last known, uh, let's see. So first thing is we're going to put all our switches. So if you have gear down, you want gear down. Yeah. Flaps, you want flaps. So in this case, I want everything you know, up and all that. Wherever you want it, right. Throttle down, I want neutral stick here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into bind mode. Okay, holding the button in. Yep, uh, so I push it like I did normally. Okay, so we're in but bind mode. But now I'm gonna push and hold it again, then I'm gonna push the bind mode on the radio. DSMX 22 minutes. And then you can let go. Once you start the binding, you can let go. Okay. All right, so this is saving that. So say I'm flying, I'm doing a, a, a left bank. And up, then do down. Right? So right, look at, check at our control surfaces. So say here, I'm doing this, here. I got the stick in the corner, All right. and I lose radio power. signal. He falls down in the mud. Radio, radio's gone. And then... Once last, I lose the signal, it goes boom. neutral. Notice they're all back to normal. So that is how you set up fail safe. Right. Screen. So that way, if you're... And obviously we're not doing throttle, but that throttle will be going on, and when you fail safe it, it would be off. Yeah. All right. And when you're testing fail safe, don't have a prop on it. Yes. All right, that is literally our first look at these receivers. They just came in about five minutes ago. Um... They look like they would work good. We're probably, I wouldn't expect them not to work good. And why are you laughing? I'm not laughing. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and all that good stuff that uh, you're supposed to do. Any uh, last words there? In all seriousness, will this work in for quads? If you had an older quad with PWM, um, this is really just for planes, guys. Right. There's no point. Planes. So this is really not a new quad uh, receiver. This is just an update to the old airplane receivers. All right. Yeah. There we go.